Now, we had a word with Steve a little bit earlier on, but one of the key musicians has to be the keyboards player. Mark, how are you doing? Hi, hi. Hi, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Now, are you enjoying what you're hearing? It's fantastic. I've got to admit, it really is amazing. Now, one of the things I've got to ask you, Dan, is to play keyboards in something like Pink Floyd. It's, it's, really, really, difficult. it's really, really difficult. difficult. It's really difficult because uh, Mark Wright, the keyboard player, he, they were, he had equipment thrown at him. Yeah. He had a £60,000 Moog Prodigy or Moog synthesizer on his stage where he just uses a synth per sound. I'm hunting for sounds on my synths to, to actually occur. But no, we're doing okay. It's not, yeah, it's, it's yeah. not too bad to cover it because most of the sounds are from the 80s anyway, which were pretty good. The programming that's involved in doing something like this must take you hours, surely. Mm, yes and no. I'm, to, I'm going to be honest, we cheat a little bit. We have synths that actually copy the sounds that... They, they produced in those days, so you're actually just pressing a button to find it, but you have to locate it within the synth. You've got to be a Pink Floyd fan yourself. Yes, I remember listening to Pink Floyd. Actually, I remember not listening to Pink Floyd because I must have had a <laughs> beer and listened to it late at night with my headphones on, but uh, no, those were the years yeah, back in the 70s, yeah. I mean, I, I first heard Pink Floyd when it was Emily and all those sort of things, and they have progressed so much, and then they became icons. Do you sort of get that feeling that you, you know, you're carrying on that tradition? Yes, and yes, yeah, we do because that when we did the gig last in Benham Adena in May, the people that are there, they just loved it from the word go. You didn't have to fight the audience; they just loved the music, and we were just reproducing what we could to our best ability, and they just loved it. Do you find that though? Do you find that the people who come to see you are there because of the music? They are Pink Floyd fans. They are Pink Floyd fans all the way through and through. They just they know every song, every nuance, they know everything about every song. You can't fool them or con them. All right, Mark, thank you so much, thank mate. Thank you very much. Nice to have met you. Have a good night. And you. Lead guitar is Dex. How are you doing, mate? I'm okay, thank you very much. Thanks for asking, yeah. I'm still around, so... <laughs> that was some amazing playing you were doing up there with that reverb and, and echo and everything on it. It was just oh, outrageous, well, wasn't it? Uh, well, it's uh, based on Dave Gilmore. I'm only trying to copy him, obviously. Have you always been a fan of Pink Floyd? Um, I've been a fan for many years. I don't know if you know this or not, but when I, before I left Scotland uh, blah, 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 years ago, <laughs> I was in a Pink Floyd tribute band for eight years. No, I didn't know that. I was a band called Mac Floyd, <laughs> Scottish Pink Floyd band. <laughs> They're actually still going. I was one of the original members back in 1990-something. Wow. I left, moved to Spain 2003. And that was the last band I was in before I came here. So this is all coming back to me. Yeah. The music. When the guys asked me to come and play with them, I thought, yeah, I think I remember some of those songs, but I realised I didn't really. <laughs> so I've had to relearn them. Uh, but a great bunch of guys, great musicians. Dave Gilmore's style and yeah. way of playing is, well, it's not like anybody else's really, is it? No, he's unique in his own way. Same as uh, a lot of my guitar heroes... Um, <laughs> Martin Offer, for example, yeah. Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix is my ultimate hero. They're all very different. They all use different setups, different guitars, different effects. But if you're going to if you're going to do a, a tribute, that has to be a tribute. I you need to try and be as close to that person. It's respect, really, a tribute. You know. So for me, if I'm going to do any of the Pink Floyd stuff, I have to make sure I get it very close. I know there's going to be loads of guitarists sitting in the audience going mm, nope, I can do that better than that nope, nope <laughs> so I've got to be up on, on my toes if you like So, yeah. and the other guys are all in that frame of mind, let's get it as possibly best we can Alright Dex, thank you so much for your time thank you for talk, Nice talking to you Cheers man Steve, just before you slurp that very quickly, how do people get in touch with the band? Well, if you go onto Facebook, we have a Pink Floyd Experience dot ES group page, mm -hmm. and we also have a, obviously a Pink Floyd Experience dot ES Facebook page. Right. So you have to remember the dot ES, ES on it. So you can message us on that to start off with, and then we get straight back to you. So you know, if you any time you want to reserve tickets or anything like that, please get in touch with us it, if we can't reserve the tickets we'll give you the contacts for everything but it will be on the group page and the facebook page now the band have got things coming up next year haven't they yes we have we've um uh, as i said earlier 23rd 24th february we were at um 
Salon Varieties in Fengarola, and that's probably the smallest gig we'll ever do. And then uh, March, we're looking at uh, USAF Naval Base in Rota. And then we're looking also to open the Starlight in May. Oh, fantastic. So we're just waiting to hear. It's got to be signed on the dotted line yet. Yeah. So, But there are, we're in touch with the theatre in Madrid. We were going to do Madrid this year, but the Australian Pink Floyd are there, so we left them get on with it. We can't match up to them, unfortunately. Well, but you never know. In a couple no. of years, we may do. Um, and then Barcelona later on in the year. So everything's Excellent. coming in. But we just need to get people to put it out and say, come and see the band yes. and then tell everybody about it. Because these guys that I've got in the band, you know, not me, I'm not looking for the accolade because these guys are far better musicians than I'll ever be. But they're a team, we discuss things together. Yeah. You, you've seen a little bit earlier in the rehearsals, it's, yeah, we stopped, but we've got a new drummer who's never played with us before. Mm-hmm. And yet he's gone through a couple of numbers, he's picked it up. We're just looking forward to having him on board, you know. So it, it's a great team. We love everybody. But then all the top stars say, I love you. Excellent. <laughs> ah, all right, mate. Know. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lee, very much for coming down. And just sit down, enjoy the music. You betcha. Enjoy your champagne. Cheers. <laughs>